Hey guys, I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make creative Instagram stories in Adobe Photoshop. Yeah. Now, let me introduce to y'all the one son of a musician refuse to fall. I'm gonna show you both how to create an Instagram story in Photoshop CC and Photoshop CS6. So let's go up to File, New, and to set up your story, you want the width to be 1080 and the height to be 1920. So this is kind of like an HD video, uh, but vertical. And then we'll set it to pixels, orientation we can leave. I'm gonna go ahead and check mark artboards. That'll set us up in the very beginning with an artboard. In CS6, you won't have this option. Just go ahead and create, uh, create your new document and you'll be fine. We'll show you how to use folders here in a little bit. You can skip ahead if you need to. Um, and then RGB color mode, and I'm gonna have white for the background, doesn't matter, we'll pull on a photo anyway. So we're gonna create that. That's gonna open up a new document that has a new vertical artboard set up. So what an artboard is, is pretty much like this cropped canvas, and you can have multiple artboards that all have their own layers on them. They're kind of like folders, except that they're their own separate canvases. This artboard layer, we're gonna rename it to Story 1. And from here, I'm going to insert a photo. So I'm gonna to go to File, Place Embedded. We're gonna bring a photo in from Unsplash, a great place for free stock photos. I'm gonna hit Place, and that's gonna fit it to our canvas. I'm gonna go ahead and hold Shift and Option, and we're gonna scale this up from the center so that it covers our entire artboard. And then I'm gonna hit enter to commit that into place. If you twirl this down, you can see that we have that layer in there now and we can move it around with the move tool. And when you're working with artboards, sometimes it defaults to the artboard tool, which has the potential to not work in the same way that the move tool works. All you have to do is click and hold this to select the move tool again. So now I'm gonna create a quick text layer for the center of our story. Hit the type tool over here, shortcut key T, and just gonna click on my canvas anywhere. And we're gonna type new tutorial. And now I can center this up by grabbing the move tool, going up to select all, and then using my alignment options, and it centers it up right in the middle. I can go back to deselect. I'm gonna use Command A and Command D for those from now on. In this new tutorial text layer, I'm gonna scale it up a little bit using Command T, the transform tool, and then I'm gonna hold Shift and Option once again to scale it up from the center. Looks good, we're gonna commit that with Enter or Return. And you can see that we're starting to build these layers over here in our story, and we can twirl that down so that you don't see any of those. Now from here, I'm going to actually create a duplicate of this story, and we're gonna edit the text on the next slide, because that's sort of how Instagram stories are created. They're kind of like slides, each one. So what I want now is to grab the artboard tool, which if I click and hold the move tool over here in the toolbar, I can go down to that and select it. I can hit the plus button, but that's just gonna create a new blank artboard that is the same size, which is okay if that's what you want. But I can also hold option and click and drag, hold shift as well to keep it aligned. And I can bring out this story and just make a total duplicate of it. And I can do that again to the side of story one copy as well to create story one copy two. So now I have three artboards in our document that I can adjust and then export separately, which is exactly what we want to do for these stories. I'm going to realign these story one on top here, uh, story two copies on the bottom, and then we'll rename this to story two. We'll rename this one to story Three. So we've got one, two, and three. So this will be the sequence of events in our Instagram stories. I'm gonna edit this text on story two. Now what I can do is grab my move tool again, use command A to select all. I'm gonna align it to the center, command D to deselect, and that's gonna be our second slide. Our third slide, if we use the type tool again with the shortcut key T, we're gonna grab this new tutorial and we're gonna say something like, I use this a lot actually in mine, um, right now, I'm not an account that has a swipe up feature. If you do, that's awesome. You could make this a call to action that says swipe up. But if you don't, you can always say link in profile. And I think I'll go ahead and center this up. And I think I'll finalize this by creating a rectangle around this and we'll do no fill. Maybe we'll set the stroke to white at potentially 10 points. Not sure, we'll guess, we'll see. I'm gonna create a little box around this Lincoln profile. Okay, so I want that to be more than a 10 point stroke. It popped up in my properties panel. Let's make it 20 points. That looks good. And then we'll want to center this up. So grab that move tool again, command A to select all, and then we'll use our alignment options to align that box to the center. And we'll command D to deselect. And I think we'll make it just a touch smaller. Command T to transform. 
hold shift and option to scale it down from the center. We'll just kind of fit it around that link in profile. There we go, those are our three slides. You see we have each of these stories over here with their own layers. From here, I can just select each of these stories, hold shift to select all of them, right click, and we'll say export as. And this is gonna bring up the export as dialog box. And you can see over here all the different JPEGs that it's going to export individually. And then you can adjust the format, adjust your quality. You can even adjust the sizing here, um, scale it up or down. What I can do is go ahead and hit export all and select the spot that I want to export to. We'll go to our assets folder for this tutorial and maybe the story folder. I can export to here. And the cool thing is if I pull up um, our little finder window is that this story under here, it labels everything by the artboard name. So now I have story one, story two, and story three ready to go for my Instagram stories. Now, if you're on CS6, let me show you really quickly how to use folders to accomplish the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take story two's contents and bring it over to story one. And I'm gonna take story three's contents and do the same thing, we'll bring it over to story one. And I'm gonna delete out story three and story two. And here we are with our 1920 by 1080 canvas. So this is as if you were in CS6 and didn't have access to artboards. Now technically I still have an artboard over here, but you can kind of ignore that. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and group each of these stories that we had before. So each of these layers that made up each one of our stories, I'm just gonna group those together. And this first one down here is actually gonna be uh, story one. And then the second one's gonna be story two. And the third one is story three. So we'll uh, just re order those really quickly. So now I have story one, I can hide that. I have story two, I can hide that. I have story three, all on the same canvas or artboard. And from here though, we can do the same thing. We can shift and select each one of these groups, which has each of our layers inside of it. And we can hit export as, and that'll bring up the export as dialog box, and it'll do the exact same thing for you. So if you're in Photoshop CS6, you can just create groups of folders with each of your stories inside of those and then export them all at the same time. And you'll get to the same spot that we did by using artboards. So if you wanna know how to actually get these stories to your phone and post them, I personally have an iPhone and it makes it really easy for me to just set up AirDrop on my iPhone and my uh, Mac, I can grab these stories and I can just drag them over to my iPhone icon. And from there, they pop up on my iPhone. Ask me if you know someone likes to share three photos with me so I can unlock my phone here and accept those photos. So now that they're in my camera roll, I can go over to Instagram, pull up my page, and create a new story. And of course, here I am. And what I can do is swipe up and then I can select, because I have these photos in the last 24 hours, I can select each one of these to post. And all I have to do is hit the Your Story button down in the bottom and that'll post it to my story. And then I can create another one if I want to. That's how to create Instagram stories in Photoshop. If you guys learned anything, if you uh, found this tutorial useful, like this video, subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.